Hey guys, it's me, Ronnie. Um, I thought I'd make this uh, new video on the on a wonderful find that I found on um, what do you call Amazon.com. So I really like playing with makeup and uh, trying out new different looks, but I was always a sponge tip applicator type of girl until you know I started watching other YouTube videos like you know Michelle Fan. Um, Dulce Candy 87 and all those other girls, you know, that just do wonderful jobs on their makeup. And I'm always trying to find out to see what type of brushes, you know, I should use. And, you know, I always get upset because I don't have a lot of money. And, you know, I don't have the you know, I don't have that type of money that the girls have in order to, you know, invest in like Sigma brushes or MAC makeup and all like that. So, uh, I went online to Amazon.com. That's my little online shop. I just, that's where I do all my shopping basically online because they have the best deals, you know, compared to retail stores and all that. And, um, I actually found some really great brushes. These are better than the ones I did on Walmart. The Walmart brushes, I don't know if most of you have seen it, but um, let me just show you. It's actually a, oops, too close. <laughs> it's actually a 34-piece uh, makeup brush set that I found for about, let's see, after shipping and handling would have been like $33. And I'm so happy because I ordered this last Tuesday, no, excuse me, last Thursday, and it got here, what was it? Well, I can't even remember, but I think it was like two days, and I mean, they shipped it all the way from California, so that's really cool, but anyway, let me show you first, though, how it comes out with the shipping. Um, I actually should have gotten it prepared, but you know me, I'm never prepared. Hold on one second. Okay, so this is what the case looks like. It's one of those easy, like, folding burlap type of things. Um, one of the downsides of it was, oh my god, did it smell. But now, it's all good. You, I just took some, you know, rubbing alcohol and I just, you know, wiped it down and that really took care of the smell. So... Once we undo it and we open it up, let me, I'm going to show you all the brushes. Now, some of them are missing because I have been using them, so I haven't put them back yet, but here we go. Let me see if I can show you a good view of what they look like. Hold on just one second. I'm folding back the flat brushes. So, for $30, this is what you get. Start back and forth. See, there's a missing brush, and yeah, so I mean, you even have your fan brush right over here. This is backwards, <laughs> but I'm used to right here. Like, let me see, down right here, you have a uh, smudging tool. Of course, there's the ever-famous sponge tip applicator. We have some lip brushes. You know, I even got the angled mascara brush. And, you know, the ever-famous eyebrow tool. But, uh, eyebrow shaping, you know, comb, whatever it is. But, yeah, you have some powder brushes, you know, the ever-famous angled brush, eyeliner, and all that good jazz. So, I just thought that would be a good idea to share with you guys. Um, I'm going to put a the link to it down there in the in the description box in case you are interested in buying it. But um, I did do my research. I read like the reviews on the customers of, you know, who bought them at Amazon. And so far, it's probably the best value you can get. I mean, if you're like me, I can't, who can't like really afford Mac or you know, uh, Mac, Estee Lauder, all those other brands, um, Sigma brushes or whatever, just stick with me. I'm the 
economic type of makeup guru, hopefully. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. And please feel free to leave me a comment on what you'd like to see and um, what else you'd be looking forward to seeing. Thank you so much. And this has been a brush review, and I hope you like it. Bye.